Keta Jovo, and I'm from Soweto. I come from a very big family. Uh, my dad passed on about five years ago. My father had um, about 20 kids. We found with my siblings a magazine at home. It was gay, a gay magazine. And I was so intrigued, but I had to look at it, at it because I was with people at the time with um, disgust and disbelief when actually I was really thrilled. So I guess that's where the desire uh, for other men um, even broadened. Uh, we learned about sex in school, but it was never about gay sex. It was about um, between a man and a woman. And then they taught us about um, condoms and abstaining and staying safe uh, during sex. When we had access to the internet, I would go on and then I would learn about gay sex and how it's done because I didn't know that we had to use lube or anything. I think I started dating boys when I was 14. So that was in grade nine. So after going around for a while, um, meeting different boys uh, on our way to a party, uh, a friend of mine came with this guy. Yeah, and then we just chilled. We had sex the first night and it was love. We were uh, 16, 17. We were on and off for two years. It was the age of exploration. I've had um, an STI. When I discovered that I had an STI, it was very shocking. Because at first, I, wa I really wasn't sure. And then uh, I researched I wrote my symptoms on Google and then they said it's gonorrhea before I even went to the doctor. So I stayed with it for maybe about five days and then so I had to tell my parents that I need cash to go to the doctor and so they needed to know what for. It was not a pleasant experience. So there are helpful men clinics nationally which are very gay friendly and they'll treat HIV and SCIs. Um, yeah, so there's no, no hassle because they specialize. So you can just go there and get help. First thing is be safe. Do not be in a rush. Do not be pressured to have sex. Be ready. Listen to your body because you might get hurt. Secondly, you need to find somebody you are very comfy, comfortable with to have sex. So do not be pressured. Have fun, be safe. So my dreams and hopes for the future are gay liberation for the entire African continent and hopefully beyond the world. Yeah, but I would love to have my own house, have my own business, have a husband, of course. My name is Ketanjovu and I am a young hero.